Hey guys, today we are in Cleveland, Ohio, right down from the Christmas Story House, just right over the hill in the Steel Yard Commons at Guthrie's, the first chicken finger only restaurant in the United States. Started back in 1965. There are 42 of these. They are in six states. We've never been in one and we like chicken tenders. So we're gonna head in and show you what you get for the money. So are you ready, Bobby? Ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. So would you come in to Guthrie's Golden Fried Chicken Fingers? Have some seats up front. And a few more seats in the back. The sign says fresh, hot, and fast. It is not made ahead of time. It's made as you order. There's kind of the history of the place. Golden Fried since 1965. 50 year old sweet tea recipe, another famous item to come in here and get. Cute little place inside this plaza, right down over the hill from the Christmas Story House. Let's take a look at the menu at Guthrie's Golden Fried Chicken Fingers. Starting off with the box for $9.98, you're gonna get five fingers in here, fries, slaw, toast, and one sauce. You get a snack size for $7.49. Family meal with 25 fingers, four fries, four toast, four slaw, $43.99. And a bucket with 25 fingers for $34.99. Now they also have a chicken sandwich where they put three fingers on it for $6.25. There are your extras. Party boxes. They sell bags of ice here. I don't think I've ever seen that. And they serve Coke products, a small $2.39, large $2.69 and a gallon of their famous tea for $7.49. The food has arrived. Bobby and I ordered the same thing. Let's take a look. Chicken fingers, crinkle cut fries, coleslaw. Instead of the famous signature sauce, Bobby got barbecue sauce and some bread toasted on one side. How does that look, Bobby? Appetizing. Now this chicken is never frozen always fresh and that's all they really have here is chicken tenders and a chicken sandwich yeah. that's all you're going to get you walk in here you're not going to get anything but this this is a chicken finger only restaurant so when you get the sandwich you get chicken fingers on the sandwich okay so we have six pieces i was counting to see how many i got i'll try one without the barbecue sauce what did you think I like the coating. It's not overcoated. Um, it's, like you said, it's not frozen, so you can tell it's fresh. So I like it. I'm going to get the coleslaw. Oh, and it is nice and warm. It should be. Just came out. 
You can taste a little bit of the vinegar with the mayonnaise base. Call your frozen fry. Nice and warm. Now Bobby's gonna try some barbecue sauce. That is not homemade here. I like the barbecue sauce. I think it may be Sweet Baby Ray's. They're, they're tender good. tastes good in that, huh? Mm -hmm. Taste my bread. I see how they did that on one side, not the other. Flip it over and see the other side. I like the bread too. I think everything is good. Nice, like I said, everything is warm. And it was ten dollars. Can't go wrong with that. No. I think I said this in the intro, but how Guthrie started this in 1965. He had a regular restaurant, but in 1978 he went to all chicken fingers being the first chicken finger only restaurant. Then he needed some good signature sauce. So how he created that? He told his kids to have a contest. Who can create the best chicken finger sauce? And his son, Hud, I think that's how you pronounce it, H-U-D, Juan, and that's the sauce you see there today. And I think now, today, there's another chicken finger restaurant called Raising Cane, but this is the very first one. And the first one we've ever been into. Let's take a look at that breading. Bobby said it before, nice, lightly breaded. So you're gonna be able to taste a little bit of this chicken instead of just breading. Let's try it without anything. That's some good chicken tenders. Has a little bit of herbs and spices in that breading. That chicken is so juicy. So they're using nice quality chicken, but here's what I'm wanting to try. The signature sauce. You see what's in it right off the top. Can you see that from out there, Bobby, what that is? Looks like pepper. A lot of black pepper. There we go. Man, that black pepper added into that sauce. That's a mayo-based sauce. Has a little garlic flavor into it. Maybe a little bit of ketchup. But it, that pepper gives it that extra spicy bite. That is so good, so. Their son that came up with that idea did a great job. Crinkle cut fries. Just frozen, regular fries, nothing fancy about them. But what is fancy too is this sweet tea. I'm gonna try it. Set back there, it's been around for 50 years. Secret recipe, let's do it. That is some good sweet tea. Kinda extra sweet, not just normal sweet. Is it the best I've ever had? I'll put it up there with Gus's, but not quite. Gus's is still the best, but if you come here, Bobby got a Coke. I'm trying to talk her into one of these. Get a sweet tea if you come here and eat. 50 years in making this recipe. Let's try the buttery Texas toast. That's a very good piece of Texas toast. You can really taste the butter. You guys can see that out there. There's a lot on there. I am very happy with this meal. We were gonna try the chicken sandwich, but we thought, what the heck, it's the same chicken tenders on two pieces of bread. So we both got the gut box, I think is what they call this. Hal and his family put these restaurants in college towns in Alabama. And that's what you wanna do, because college students are gonna love something quick and they love chicken fingers. And I read today that his grandkids are doing the same thing. So they're only in six states but hopefully they branch out. I like this. I like to see one of these back where we live. Let's take a look at our receipt at Guthrie's Chicken here in Cleveland, Ohio. Had a regular Coke, 239. The sweet tea was also 239. Two boxes at 998 a piece. Grand total, 2512. Now, if any of you guys are at the Christmas Story House, this is just right down over the hill. There's Walmart. So come down less than a mile from there. Right across from Walmart is Guthrie's. Well, we just left Guthrie's here in Cleveland, Ohio. What did you think about it? I thought everything was really good. But what I really like is that the chicken's never been frozen and they didn't overcoat it. Now, the young lady that took our order, she was really friendly and gave us a little bit of uh, background on the history of this restaurant. Now I'm gonna to totally agree with Bobby. That chicken is better when it's fresh, not frozen. They make it to order in there. You know what's gonna be good? That place was the first chicken finger only restaurant in the United States. So they're specializing in one thing, chicken fingers. They got it right in there. But what's so special about that is the sauce. 
that was invented by Hal's 10 year old son has a lot of black pepper in it gives it that little extra kick they have a challenge here if you eat 25 pieces of that with a signature sauce in a half an hour you get a trophy in your face on Facebook so I'm happy we went in oh sweet tea that's some great sweet tea if you like extra sweet sweet tea southern style you're gonna love that everything else was good I mean the fries were just basic fries but they were cooked perfect I mean there's just crinkle cuts nothing fancy about coleslaw but that bread I did like that Texas toast I'm happy we came here there's only 42 of these in the United States in six states Maybe someday there'll be more of them because I think they're a pretty good restaurant. Mm -hmm. I like the philosophy of just making one thing and getting it right. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have left the building. Mm -hmm.